Hello everybody. Welcome to number one doctor channel. Today we will talk about one of the famous doctors. Harvey Cushing 1869 to 1939. Cushing's syndrome, Cushing's ulcer, Cushing's reflex. Cushing had a lifelong interest in diseases of the pituitary gland. In 1912 he published a monograph entitled The Pituitary Body and Its Disorders with 47 carefully documented cases. One at least was an example of his syndrome. Over the years, he observed a number of these cases, but since they did not develop visual difficulty or signs of increased intracranial pressure, they were seldom subjected to operation or come to autopsy. It was not until 1932 that he was able to describe the association of a basophilic tumor of the pituitary with this striking clinical syndrome. Nowadays, the clinical features described by Cushing are most often seen in patients on therapeutic steroid administration. About 10% are due to benign or malignant adrenocortical tumors or rarely due to ectopic adrenocorticotrophic hormone production by a distant tumor, in particular a carcinoma of the bronchus. Cushing's ulcer is the rare occurrence of a peptic ulcer with a head injury, while the Cushing reflex is slowing of the pulse and raised blood pressure and cerebral compression, for example, from an extraterrestrial hematoma. Harvey Cushing was born in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1869. His father was professor of obstetrics and both Harvey's grandfather and great-grandfather were physicians. Cushing graduated in medicine at Harvard in 1895. He interned in Boston, then became assistant to William Halstead at the Johns Hopkins Hospital in Baltimore. Here he became increasingly interested in the surgery of the nervous system and specialized in this field from 1902 onwards. Much of his early work was in removal of the trigeminal ganglion for trigeminal neuralgia. It was while working in Kotcher's laboratory in Bern, Switzerland, that Cushing described his reflex by producing raised intracranial pressure in the dog skull, using an inflated balloon. In 1912 Cushing was appointed professor of surgery at the Peter Brent Brigham Hospital in Boston. Here he established a school of neurosurgery whose disciples spread across the Western world. At the end of his career, he was operating on some 200 brain tumors annually. He worked slowly and in complete silence, a craniotomy would take up to 8 hours to complete. He devised many of the standard techniques used in neurosurgery today such as surgical diathermy, which he developed with the physicist William Bovey, the silver clips for hemostasis that bear Cushing's name, and the use of suction to maintain a clear operative field. During the First World War, he took a neurosurgical team to France in 1915, before America had entered the war. He returned to France in 1917, becoming the senior consultant in neurosurgery to the American Expeditionary Force. During this time he introduced the electromagnet to remove ferrous metallic foreign bodies from the brain and demonstrated the value of suction in removal of pulp brain from cerebral gunshot wounds. Cushing was a prolific writer. In addition to his book on the pituitary, he wrote monographs on acoustic tumors, meningiomas and the classification of gliomas. In 1932 he published a report on his 2000 verified brain tumors. His biography of his close friend and mentor, Sir William Osier, gained him the Pulitzer Prize. Cushing retired from surgical practice in 1932 and became professor of neurology at Yale. A heavy smoker, his last years were marked by severe leg ischemia and he died of coronary thrombosis just after the outbreak of the Second World War in Europe, on October 7, 1939. Thanks for watching hope to see you again in more next videos. With my best witches. Doctor. 8 Fomid.